Please note that this video has spoilers for the subject. Put off by how long this video is, don't worry, I tend to jam-pack my videos with as much content, as many details as I possibly can, and I try to talk pretty fast, so while the video is a bit on the long side, I don't repeat myself, and I get into a lot of details about the subject that, you know, pretty much anything that I feel I can comment on and that I think you might find interesting. Boy 2, The Golden Army, Movie, Thoughts. So, maybe I should just start with the tooth fairies. The idea of sort of these positive things that we imagine as children being based on myths where the creatures are actually far worse than, you know, that they're actually cruel beings. That's not too bad of an idea, you know, and the... Excuse me, the description of them, you know, they just, excuse me, they eat and eat and then poop and eat again. I guess they're the, you know, Hellboy Universe's equivalent of the dope fish with flying in place of swimming. I'm a little unclear on, did they, we get this thing about how, oh, they eat like calcium, so they, you know, bones and stuff like that. Did they eat flesh as well? I was a little unclear on that, because since there's absolutely nothing left, I don't know, I guess they did. Sure, you know, why not? I do wish that they would, you know... They don't seem to pr properly really look for, you know, to make sure that they're all dead, they're at the end. You know, I mean, sure there might not be that many left after Liz finally uses her fire, you know, that's kind of the thing throughout this film, you know, when she's, you know, should, should we use Liz's fire ability? No, no, we want to wait a little bit. Uh, okay. Is there any reason for us to wait a little bit? No? Oh, okay, sure, whatever. But yeah, so she, you know, blows up a bunch of them, you know, Red goes through the window, shoots a couple of them, apparently managing not, to, you know, for the projectile not to head on into any others. I'm, it's it's a good thing that they stood still enough that he could shoot them. You know, shooting a flying target is actually, especially when it's that tiny. So, yeah, he could have seriously injured those people. But still, you know, probably a better idea to shoot them. And, yeah, you know, are they all just gone now? Are we, are we sure about that? You know, I get that the dramatic... I don't know, anchor, whatever. You know, the the film, the, the scene is suddenly focused on something else, the, their discovery rather than the danger of the two fairies, but yeah, I do still kind of wonder if they actually got them all. Now, on to the actual and more important plot holes in the film. The... The whole thing with the link between the twins, you know. So, Nuala knows that Nuada could find her at any point. And, you know, through that actually discover their secret hideout in an undisclosed location. Should she have maybe bothered to tell that to the you know, people who weren't even there to take her in when it was being discussed if she should be taken in. I don't know, it just seems to me like that might have been the slightly responsible thing to do, and since she is part of trying to, you know, keep humanity from being wiped out, I think it might be just slightly pressing of a concern to say another thing that she might have wanted to say Look out, that thing being thrown through the air, don't let it hit water, you know, make sure you catch it or something. For so much of the movie, she's just, like, completely, I don't know, awestruck or something. She just, she's practically useless, actually. She's more trouble than she's worth, obviously. But, yeah, she, 
she could have prevented that huge monster. You know, slightly more on that. Well, more on that a little later. But yeah, so the link, yeah, and so yeah, after being there for several hours in this undisclosed location, she does decide to bring it up to Abe. You know, and what's his response? Ah, yeah, okay, so, you know, your brother who's threatening to take over the world, or, you know, at least destroy humanity, might be coming here, and, you know, you say that he could probably overpower, you know, he, he could best even Hellboy. So, yeah, okay, so, come here often. What the crap, I'm sorry, but at that point, you know, even before he actually gives the crown piece to Nuala there at the end, he loses all my sympathy. Right there. Just, no, I'm sorry, you have a job to do, okay? It's nice that you're suddenly, you know, going through puberty and noticing girls, but seriously, that is just time and place, Abe. Time and place, okay? And so, yeah, so... You know, he gets there, he beats up Hellboy, and Abe is like, you know, oh, you can't hurt the prince. Yeah, no, you know, obviously he can't hurt the prince. Prince is a better fighter. And, you know, it's, and that's, it's actually established really early on that when one of them is, you know, in pain or something, the other one feels it as well. And, you know, something like that. Okay, so, should they maybe use that to their advantage? At all? Can, could they maybe, like, stun her and that would stun him? C could, could she look the other way, you know, through his eyes and then see where he is and they could, like, intercept him? Anybody? At all? And, you know, on the, on the Link thing, should she really be in the custody of the BPRD when Nuara can see through her eyes, find her? Is is she at th you know is she at risk with him? It's it's her brother. Why would he kill? If if he did kill her, he'd die himself. Seriously, what is? Why does she have the crown piece? And with him, you know, this is what the smart thing would be. She, you know, she starts trusting Abe around the time, you know, right when she runs away from Mr. Wink, you know, who's so boring and just barely even, yeah, you know, it's like, yeah. And, and his death, you know, it's not even Hellboy who kills him. It gets itself killed. And that's it, you know, they have a brief scuffle with, you know, fisticuffs and suddenly it you know launches its fist into the grinder and yeah that's it anyway so yeah she trusts him so when they're discussing if she should be brought back to the BPRD where she's you know oddly silent it, with all the things that she could be saying could be telling them why not her, if she gave Abe the piece, or, you know, yeah, she trusts Abe, give Abe the piece. Abe goes back and hides it at the BPRD. Problem solved! Okay, I'm sorry, but what is he going to do to his sister? If, let's say he tortures her, he's gonna feel the pain too! You know, and would he really be willing to torture her for the... Yeah, just... And, you know, it ends when she finally decides to have a character and, you know, she stabs herself because, yeah, that's the, you know, and he didn't take her knife away. Did he not think for a second that maybe she might be willing to do something like that? I mean, it was pretty obvious that that was how it was going to turn out. You know, he was, you know, other than being a show off, he was a really great fighter. Now, the huge, the, the forest god, the nature god, the elemental. Other than just the pointlessness of the, you know, saving the baby. I don't know. You know. My girlfriend pointed out it was similar to the kittens in the first movie. The kittens in the first movie do not bother me. 
I don't know, I I think it's partly that the the bit is shorter, and it's also just kind of, I don't know, it just doesn't feel as forced in there. Or maybe that movie just took itself less seriously, you know, excuse me. And not, not that this one takes itself completely seriously, but still, you know, with that message, you know, just being hammered home with... But yeah, so, you know, he rescues the baby, and he, you know, hurls it into the air, and then, you know, catches it with no trouble in, as my girlfriend pointed out, a stone hand, you know, so obviously this kid isn't going to have every bone in his body broken. Why did he even bring it up there? Why did he, you know... I can't blame the mother. You know, well, I can blame her for not grabbing the child out of her car before she runs off, but whatever. I can't blame her for being upset that Hellboy took her up, took the kid up to the roof whilst shooting at a huge monster. I'm sorry. Why was that necessary? There were several agents around him. He could have handed off the baby and then run up and, you know, defeated the elemental. Beautiful imagery, no doubt, when it dies. Absolutely, you know, every little, like, you know, everything it's, I don't know, blood, whatever, you know, where its body hits, flowers and nature grows forth, you know, man, that sounded really queer when I said it, but whatever, that is beautiful imagery, I get that, and it is, you know, that this thing was, like, pure nature, excellent, but... For one thing, why do Hellboy and his team have to feel bad about it? It was Nuada who sent it after them. It was Nuada who got it killed. What did he expect for them to just sit back and let it rampage through the city? Heck, if he, if he, if he had just thrown it in a, you know, an area that wasn't covered by cities, it would have been fine. But no, he decided to use it as a weapon, and suddenly it's this, you know, oh, it's the last of its kind. Well, then why are you throwing endangered animals at us? What the heck, dude? Seriously. But yeah, and so we have this big, you know, it's an action scene, and, you know, a big action-adventure thriller kind of, you know, jumping around, avoiding it, and shooting at it, and this whole thing. And then at the end, it's just... Oh, the nature thing died. So what? This is an action scene. I'm sorry, but at, why am, are you trying to make me feel bad at the end of an action scene? There, again, time and place. There is, you know, there there are movies that can do this, but it's the end of an action scene. You're just, you know, getting me all excited and worked up, and then you're telling me, oh, this is very sad, you know. Butt out, Al Gore, just for a second, just let me enjoy this, okay? Why did you make it such a spectacular scene if we're supposed to just, you know, be really sad about it? And just... And Nuada also, this... You know, he's all obsessive and, you know, trying to... destroy the whole... it just... I don't know, I guess he's just not very fond of life in general, it's just pride and being, you know, this royalty, so he feels like they shouldn't have to bow down to the humans, which they are, because there are cities now, and malls, don't forget malls, you know, malls are pure evil, according to elf lords. Be more or less. Well, yeah, back to Liz and the uh, and the Golden Army, the titular Golden Army, where even more crap flies. And as actually, I should probably start with just yeah, like I said in the review, there's far too little consequence to anything in this film. How about when Johan is apparently dying? You know, when Hellboy punches the you know, thing, and we think, like, oh, crap, he killed it, and then, you know, a second later, he's apparently okay with it, and then it's just, nope, I'm not dead, because I'm gaseous, so I can just attack you, and Hellboy, granted, a little bit of that, let's be honest, slapstick comedy is slightly funny, definitely, but 
why does he just stay over by the lockers when clearly they're the ones beating him up, you know? And and then Johan goes off and sings in German and it's just, again, it's just really trying desperately hard to be funny and it's obnoxious and embarrassing, really. But yeah, you know, something like that and, and when Hellboy just you know, runs towards the troll lady and, you know, then he tosses her away because, oh, she's not going to open the door. And then Johanna's like, oh, wait, well, I can open it. Should have just asked, you know. Okay, I'm sorry, if he could do that the entire time, why did they need to interrogate the troll lady? What was the point of that? And what was the point of the stupid, you know, showing the different filters and the thing? Oh, see? It's a woman. Oh, but it's a troll. It's a troll woman. Ooh, yeah, we get it. Okay, you had a budget. You have computers. Fine. Could we please move the story along here? And then we have the Liz and the Golden Army with... Okay, at the very end, for example, she just melts the gold of the crown. She could have done that for the entire movie. Why didn't she do that when they had the third piece, you know, when the when Nuala had it. And again, you know, if she does want for, you know, for, yeah, for the golden army to be prevented from arising, why doesn't she just say, "Could we do something with this crown piece?" You know, hey, why hasn't anybody thought of it for all that time? You know, and just, yeah, why doesn't Liz use her fire powers? I, I don't think she does at all there at the end, but... Or at least she doesn't do it much. I don't remember exactly. And so, yeah, I've, I've literally just watched it, and it's already beginning to leave my mind yet again. But yeah, you just have this... Yeah, why doesn't she use the fire powers more? And you have this... Yeah, Granted, not terribly extensive, but still, an action scene where, you know, Liz is, like, shooting, and is Abe doing anything? I guess he's shooting, too. I don't know. They ran out of stuff he could do. He could telepath them to death. Johan is, like, taking over some of the, one of them and using it to fight, and Hellboy is... He's Hellboying them, you know. He's shooting and bashing and they destroy several of them, and what a waste of time, because they just get back t together, you know, they, they are relentless, they absolutely will not stop, ever, until we are dead! So, yeah, what, why spend the time, you know, with all these... Yeah, it's just, it's obvious that that's not how they're going to be defeated. You know, why doesn't Hellboy just think of challenging Nuada before that, you know, which, you know, and at that point, once he's challenged, he apparently becomes something between a circus, ac circus acrobat and a gymnast. And the Angel of Death. So was it just sitting around waiting for Hellboy to show up? And apparently it didn't even know when Hellboy was going to show up, just that he was going to show up. The troll knows it, you know, the, the Angel of Death, doesn't he call it, you know, he at least calls it friend. I think at one point at least he calls it old friend, so has the Angel of Death just been waiting there for years just for Hellboy to show up? Man, it must really have an open schedule. Is there an Angel of Death for every single you know, supernatural creature out there and they're just sitting around waiting for, you know, maybe they should kind of cut down. It, it sounds like they're just putting, you know, I mean, obviously they're employing a lot of death angels, but I don't know, it just it seems terribly wasteful if they're just sitting around. So yeah, anyway, Liz goes up and, you know, all like, you know, oh, can you save him? Oh, I can, but you do know that you're gonna suffer horribly. Well, he doesn't tell that until after, but anyway. And he will take over the world and, you know, cause the destruction of... Oh, yeah, yeah, whatever. Just, you know, go ahead. And he's like, ta-da! I got the spear piece, you know. You want to see me pull a rabbit out of a hat? Check out these awesome eyes. I have tons of eyes. I guess I... You have to see a lot. What is the evolutionary... 
you know, purpose of all those eyes. Anyway, yeah, Liz literally says, you know, oh, I don't care about the rest of the world, that's just, you know, and so does Abe, so yeah, again, <laughs> what lovely people we're, you know, rooting for in this freaking movie. You know how in the first movie, it was actually kind of, you know, I guess Hellboy is the only the person with a sense of decency in, you know, in these movies. So, you know, when it was him and Liz, it was kind of, you know what, I could save her, but I will not doom the rest of the world. And he still got her back. But in this, it's kind of, yeah, I don't know, the rest of the world, they'll, they'll have to take care of their own problems. Which is literally what they say when they just, you know, go ahead and just quit. Because, you know, obviously... Everything they were fighting was the last of its kind and had to live because nature and environmentalism and if you don't, you know, support this cause, the day after tomorrow we will be attacked by, you know, frozen things and badly CGI wolves. Yeah, okay, again, I actually do agree. I do think that we should take better care of nature, but this is not the way to convey it. This is just extremely heavy-handed and I'm losing light and I'm pretty sure I've said everything so you know if there's anything you want my thoughts on post it down below please rate and comment and hey if you like this video that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it